Okay, boys and girls, we got another one. I got another cast iron pan in the mail from Butter Pat Industries. Oh, yeah. Okay, if you guys notice, you saw my last unboxing. I just do it with one hand and, uh, you know, put the cell phone under my chin. I don't have a selfie stick or GoPro or anything like that yet. So, but, um, yeah, they, uh, they make different uh, pan sizes. I think they got a 8 inch, maybe a 10, 12. Um, and then they have the 14 inch. This is the 14 inch. Um, it's another high end cast iron airdom quality company. Um, you know, I'll probably do a video on my other one. I got a 8 inch Smithy. Um, I got a 10 inch field. Um, I got a Finex grill pan, and then I got the Stargazer, the 12 inch, and now this is a 14 inch, which I thought was pretty cool. They had it on sale too. Wasn't cheap, but uh, should last my lifetime, and then uh, my kids and their kids probably. So unless they ever give it to Goodwill or sell it or whatever. But but uh, this is the 14 inch. I forgot the name of it. They have different names like Joan, Heather, Lily. I believe the 14 was the Lily, but we'll find out once we open this. Book. So let's, without further ado, butter pat. Okay. I just had it on the, let's put this under my chin, and then we're going to get my cheap scissors. We're just going to cut here, cut here, cut here. The box seems pretty sturdy. The Stargazer box had, had a kind of a prettier box, I guess. But. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, God. Okay, put that there. And I got it under my chin. And let's try this one-handed if we can. Okay. I got a cut here. I probably should get a pocket knife. This is some cheap pair of scissors that I got somewhere at the, at the kids' section. Okay. Okay, I got that open finally. There we go. Uh, okay, here we go, guys. The moment of truth. It's coming. It's going to open. Woo! Oh, wow. That's kind of a cool logo. That's Land for Butter Pat Industries. It's like a woman shooting an arrow in the sky. That's pretty bold. I like that, actually. I think I might frame this and put it on my wall. No, I don't know, but it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so let's put this over here. Okay. I put that there. Ooh, look at this. You get a sticker. Oh, no, this is a scraper. My bad. So you can scrape uh, the food off. That's awesome. I think they sell those separately. I don't know if they're five bucks a piece or... Use this card as a scraper. Wash soap is okay. Heat on stove top. Evaporate water, lightly coat with all oil. Lightly oil, kite, lightly coat all surfaces. More questions, butter cut. And then they get the logo. So they give you a scraper. It's like a credit card. I don't know if I'd use that, but it's kind of cool. Okay, instructional manual. Butter Pat Industries USA, cast iron. Okay, and mine is the Lily. Oh no, it's not the Lily. Well, oh yeah, Lily's the 14, I think. Well, I think it might be bigger than that. I thought it was a 14 inch. Maybe it's a header. Let's see. Okay, you get a letter from the dentist. I got a couple emails I was asking. It did take a couple months for it to come out because I think this is a new model. Here, okay, they give you all the instructions. Dennis, he's the founder. I get an email from him if you have a question. Care and use, okay. Using your pan, yada yada. Okay. So maybe mine is the Lily. The Lily's the 12 inch, the Jones the 10, the Heather's the 8, the SD is the 6. Oh, I didn't know they have a 6 inch. That's kind of cool. That's if you just want to cook by yourself, make an egg or you know, something like that. Okay. So this might be a lily. <gasps> oh, wow. Wow, guys. It's looking good. I think they put they put a thin layer of seasoning. I'm going to scrub this down and then re-season it with uh, 
um, flaxseed oil. Throw in the oven for about an hour and a half at 475 to 500, and that should get a nice uh, little patina going. But uh, wow, I'm impressed. This is the 14 inch. Let's see, does it have the name on the back of what it is? Okay, Butter Pat Industries. And there's the, uh, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's the serial number, V9881 and 18. Maybe that's the thickness, I'm not sure. Okay, get out of here, buddy. Oh, I dropped my the picture here, guys. Okay, put that there. Okay, so here's a good look at it. Um, it's awesome. So this might be the Lily. I thought it was a 14 inch, but maybe the, um, it's a 14 inch pan, but the kirking surface is 12 because I have a 12 inch stargazer. Let me get my stargazer, I'll compare it. I'll compare my stargazer. Let's see, stargazer, stargazer, stargazer. Where's my stargazer? Here's stargazer. Uh, uh, you can see him. My wife keeps it well oiled. But yeah, here's the stargazer 12. So wow, this is a lot bigger. This is the 12. Excuse my wife, she put too much oil and I gotta dry that off. But um, you can see I kind of scraped some of the seasoning. I'm still cooking on it. But uh, the Stargazer 12 and this Lily is 14 inches. So I can, you know, stack them in like that. But uh, yeah, Stargazer needs to needs more seasoning. Needs a washcloth too, by the way. It's a little greasy. Okay. I also have a field. Here's my field. The field's a good pan too. A little lighter pan. Here's my 10 inch field. And then I got a smithy. Here's my smithy. You can see uh, I scraped some of the seasoning off. I gotta maybe scrape that off and re-season it, I think. But uh, that's still a good pan. I think I put the seasoning too thick. And then I, you know, scraped it with a metal spatula. That's probably a good idea. So, and here's my Finex grill pan. This thing's awesome. You can put a couple good sized steaks on there. Grill burgers. Those you get good grill marks. And then all the grease doesn't go on the burger because those are pretty big grooves there on the Finex grill pan. So, but that finishes my collection. I don't like buying one kind of cast iron. I like to make it that. So I bought one of each of the premium brands in the United States, but this Lily is looking big. This might be my favorite. I don't know, but we'll uh, get a season on this puppy, start grilling away and cooking away. And uh, made in the USA. The, the handles are tiny. I got big hands, so it's kind of Kind of tough, but you know, most of the time when the pan's hot, you get a towel anyway. But that's a short handle. But uh, I like the the drip grooves; those are nice. And I like this little thing up here. So every pan's different, but this one might be one of my favorites. It might have to be because it was so damn expensive. But okay, but that's my unboxing, guys. I'm gonna get seasoning and maybe show you how it looks after I get it seasoned and ready to rock and roll so there it is the 14 lily the biggest uh, cast iron grill pan i think made in the united states and it's freaking awesome go get you one peace this is t-rex out